what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview finally they put this up uh the one six scale hot toys feral predator and you can pre-order this when it's available at bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below four dollars shipping double box your item and put them on pile of loot but let's talk about this figure man i've been waiting for this i actually did like the movie i love the movie um i love predator and if there's one thing one good thing that happened after endgame is that i think hot toys realized that the the marvel hype is dying so they started looking at other ips and maybe if 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 endgame didn't happen we wouldn't get robocop again or this guy or maybe wolverine you know we're tapping on wolverine again so one good thing that happened is that at least we are finally getting this so i love this i love predators back then before avengers all we have is predators and i'm not gonna lie back then i think it was 2012 or 13 i had some fatigue when it comes to predators because i had um i forgot the name the predator with a dog on it like with a hound uh, i had that i got the classic predator i got all those predators at, at some point i was like man they all look the same they're just predators so i started selling them off kept one and uh now i wish i would kept them all honestly because i i miss having these guys but now finally even for those newer collectors who never really had any chance to get any of those predators this is a chance and this is from a pretty good movie uh hulu special it's still a movie uh but i like it the paintwork looks phenomenal you know on the skin texture um the hair is still made out of rubber and i don't even blame them for that however i got some concerns because uh for those who are um aware this is the biggest i guess drawback of predators back then is the hair deteriorates they become dry uh sometimes they do flake a little because they made out of rubber and then they have those little beads that just fades over time now it doesn't have those beads this just has this his hair on it his dreadlocks um so hopefully it's it's a better rubber this time so it doesn't do that um again there's an led light up on i used to call them biomask i guess you can still call them biomask right um but it's not too bright you know they're supposed to be like this laser kind of thingy uh but they're not the mandibles you could replace as you can see here it's interchangeable within open and closed so that's that's a thing even back in the past I mean, the mouth opens up as well so that's there's in terms of i would say innovation there's really nothing new in here that we haven't seen before especially those who had predators back then um i guess the body because they gave him a torso articulate at least an upper ab articulation because back then at least the second iteration it was just one solid piece of of torso for predators this one looks like you do have that separation for better movement um it's not double jointed on the elbows and on the knees and as expected that is for aesthetics purposes it looks great i love the shield i love the weaponry that he does come with uh the spear the shield looks phenomenal uh it looks like it's just magnetic uh, it doesn't have those holographic features compared to the older ones but he never got it on the movies so it just makes sense but i love the overall look the diorama base um it, i technically i mean historically all predators are on the taller side as well they're like around 13 inches tall uh so pretty massive uh the backpack normally you can't take it off no he's holding the biomass look at that exposed that that ugly face of him i wonder now i'm interested in what's going to be the pricing for this guy i would love to know that um if i have to guess the most recent one who was that um hera was 260 that is a phenomenal price 
With this guy, I would say a fair price would be 285, 290, maybe tops of 310. Uh, more realistically, maybe 300, but it shouldn't be more than that because this doesn't have rolling eyeball system. It do it does have those gimmicks, but again, there's nothing that we haven't seen here before in terms of, you know, just predator technology. So, and then the prices of hot toy seems to be going trending down, uh, whether you want to believe it or not, it is. I mean, look at Hera. Uh, so, I think a fair price would be around. A good price would be 280, 285. A fair price would be maybe 300, but it shouldn't be more than 310 or 320, in my opinion. No, no more than 320. 320 is kind of pushing it, honestly. Again, because of the lack of, you know, I guess things that we haven't seen before compared to the. It, it feels like rolling eyeball system is just normal now for any any MMS. Everything that comes with this guy is just normal for Predator. So, But I love the paint application. I love the overall design, but that's not hot toys. That's just the design of the Predator. But I love the fact that we're seeing these, you know, non-Marvel. Before it was just Marvel, DC, or, or Marvel, Star Wars, and a little bit of DC. But now, we got Robocop. You know, we got Wolverine. Yes, he's still technically Marvel, but not really MCU. You know, this guy. And then not counting, um, you know, the Back to the Future guys that we, we've gotten. So extremely happy about that. Uh, I hope we get to see more of these kind of like one-off franchises. Or are they even going to tap in more to Prey? You know, like the, the I forgot the, the girl's name. She could have been done, but I don't know. I personally, if they do her, I most likely won't buy her. Uh, she doesn't have that that badass look compared to this guy. He just looks badass. He looks mean, and he's he just looks business. You know, like the it looks like he has some blood in his feet as well. He just looks like a hunter. You know, just love. The overall look to this, and it, this would look nice next to my Scar Predator too. So it does. We do. I do have combination of like modern and more, you know, ancient looking Predator. But let me know in the comments. Are you guys excited for this? Are you guys gonna pick this up? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.